Shabbat Shalom. Nice to see everybody. We'll begin our service this evening with Hebrew words, Yai Lai Lai. Feel free to sing along, and this melody will come back to us later in the service. If you're joining us at home on the stream, we're very happy that you're here. Please do feel free to say hello in the chat or sing along yourselves from the other side of the internet if you feel so inclined. Yai Lai 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 Ya la 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 Ya la 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 Ya la 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 Ya la 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 Ya la 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 Ya la 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 Ya la 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 Ya la 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 Ya la 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 Ya la 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 Ya la 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 we are happy, as we always are, to welcome our special guest, Rabbi Mark Rothschild, to our Bima this evening. And Rabbi Mark will share some words of welcome with us. Yes, applause. I don't know that I have words of welcome. Uh, How about into the mic. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Internet. Hi. Uh, Shabbat Shalom. Uh, I don't have words of welcome as much as welcoming. What am I looking at? You want me to move? Hello. Uh, uh, why don't we start Shabbat by inviting Trisha up to light the candles? I'll give you the mic. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kidshanu B'mitzvotav V'tzivanu Lahad Likner, Lahad Likner, Shel Shabbat. Thank you both very much. Very appreciated. Uh, Rab what doesn't Rabbi Mark do? He's handing out your service cards as we speak. Thank you, Rabbi. And at the very top, the very top of that card, excuse me, not the very top, second from the top, you'll see words of welcome, words of togetherness. You already know the tune because we just sang it together. Hine Matov, how good and sweet it is for us all to be together. Hine Matov Umanaim Shavarachim Gam Yachad 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 Hine in the middle of your page there, Shabbat Shalom, Maya Fehayom Shabbat Shalom. What a beautiful day today is. I invite you to join me once again in singing. Maya Fehayom, Shabbat Shalom. Maya Fehayom, Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Maya Fehayom. 
Shabbat Shalom, Mayafa Hayom, Shabbat Shalom. We'll turn to the other side of your service sheet, your service sheet. And at the very top of the page, the words we use to welcome in Shabbat, it is said that we are to be as happy at the arrival of Shabbat as we are at the sight of someone walking down the aisle to get married. So with those words in mind, the words of the beloved, we'll share together these words of Lecha Dodi. Lecha Dodi, Likrat Kala, Pene Shabbat, Nekabela, Lecha Dodi, Likrat Kala, Pene Shabbat, Nekabela. Shamor vizachor bidibur echad, Hishmianu el hamiyuchad, Adonai echad, Shmo echad, The shame of Tiferet velitrila, Lechad odi, Likrat kala, Pene Shabbat, Nekabela, Lechad odi, Likrat kala, Pene Shabbat, Nekabela. Boi ve shalom ateret bala, Gam besimcha uv tsohula, Tochemune am segula, Boi chala, boi chala, Lecha dodi, Likrat kala, Pene Shabbat, Nekabela, Lecha dodi, Likrat kala, Pene Shabbat, Nekabela. If you are feeling comfortable and able, you are welcome to rise as we move into the formal part of our worship service with our call to worship, the words of the Baruch Hu. Ya la 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 la, ya la 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 la, ya la 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 la, ya la 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 la. Am I awake? Am I prepared? Are you listening to my prayer? Can you hear my voice? Can you understand? Am I awake? Am I prepared? Barechu et Adonai Hamevorach Baruch Adonai Hamevorach Le'olam va'ed Le'olam va'ed Yalalai lai lai Yalla la la la, 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 yalla la la la. You may be seated. Right below those words, the prayer of oneness. Binding us all together as one, the words of Shema Yisrael. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad, Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Baruch Shem Kevod, Shem Kevod, Malchuto, Le'olam Vahed. Baruch Shem Kevod, Shem Kevod, Malchuto, Le'olam va'ed. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, 
Adonai Echad. Some of you probably, actually, I know you do because I just talked to your son about it, Rabbi. Some of you probably offered those words as a lullaby to your children or had those words sung to you as a lullaby. And indeed, it is a lovely lullaby. The Hashkivenu, which is just below the words of the Shema, is also known as the lullaby of our people, where we ask God to spread over us and everyone else a shelter of peace. So we'll offer the very end of that prayer with the words of Hapore Sukkot Shalom together. Baruch atah, atah Adonai, hapore sukkat shalom. Shalom aleinu ve'al kol amo Yisrael. Ve'al Yerushalayim, ve'al kol amo. Ve'al Yerushalayim, Shalom. Ve'al Yerushalayim, ve'al kol amo. Ve'al Yerushalayim, Shalom. Baruch atah, atah Adonai, habore sukkat, Shalom. Shalom aleinu ve'al kol amo Yisrael. You know, I have to be honest, at rabbinical school, they said this was a really hard gig. It's mostly just singing along with the cantor and saying a couple words once in a while. It is, you have the harder job by far. Uh, but let's not tell the other rabbis I said that when they get back. Um, it's time in a moment for the Amidah. A couple weeks ago when I was guest rabbiing, I mentioned that as a kid I never knew what I was supposed to say or why we did it. And I always wondered if other people were praying the same things I was and trying to figure out if there's ever a theme. In rabbinical school, and maybe you already know this, you don't need rabbinical school for this, but the Amidah that we do in Reform Judaism at Sukkot Shalom is really just the introduction that basically says, okay, I'm getting ready to do the Amidah, and then we don't do it. But we do pray silently. And one of the things I learned that has helped me pray the Amidah is thinking about its traditional purpose. There's three parts to the Amidah. The first, like every good prayer should do, is uh, uh, praising God. Like, because I'm about to ask you something, so the first part is me telling you how great you are. And that's a legit part. The second part is for petitions, uh, things you might be hoping or praying for, for yourself, for your family, or for the world. Uh, and the third part is showing thanksgiving. What are you happy for? What are you thankful for? And that kind of ends with thanking when we are in times of peace, thanking that we are in times of peace. So not telling you what to do, but something that has helped me in the moments of silence that we get is picking one of those three things and trying to focus on one of them. We don't have enough time for all three. So with that, let's do the Amidah with Kenny. Please rise. Down towards the very bottom of your page, second from the bottom, the opening words of the Amidah. Adonai sefatai tiftach ufi agi tehilatecha. Eternal God, open my lips that my mouth may declare your glory. You can stay standing as we sing a little bit of Shalom Rav together, our evening prayer for peace. At any point during the singing of this blessing, if you would like to sit down, please feel free to do so. And we'll conclude the singing with a little bit of true silence. Shalom Rav Yisrael Amcha Tassim Le'olam Shalom Rav Yisrael Amcha Tassim Le'olam Ki atahu melech adon lechol hashalom. Ki 
Shalom, Shalom, Rav Yisrael Amcha, Tassim Le'olam. Shalom, Rav Yisrael Amcha, Tassim Le'olam. Etov e'necha l'varech Et amcha Yisrael V'chol e'tu v'chol sha'a B'shlomecha Yai lai lai, yai lai lai, lai lai Yai lai 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 Yai lai lai Yai lai 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 If you haven't already, you may be seated. And we'll turn to other words of peace. Words of Ose Shalom. Asking that peace be brought down for all of us for all of our community and for the rest of the world. Ose shalom bimuroma Hu yase shalom aleinu Ose shalom bimuroma Hu yase shalom aleinu O se shalom in Roma, who ya say shalom, Malenu, ya say shalom, ya say shalom, shalom, Malenu, Vealco Israel, ya say shalom, ya say shalom, shalom, Malenu. Uh, well, now is the time for Misha Beirach, which is our time to think about anyone in our community who's ill, needs a special blessing. I'm thinking in particular today of Salman Rushdie. You may have heard he was attacked uh, while he was giving a presentation. He was knifed in the neck and helicoptered out. Hopefully he's recovering. And if there's anyone else who's in your thoughts, please uh, say their names now. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> As well, if you're joining us online, please feel free to leave names in the chat of those that you might know of that are in need of healing of body, of mind, or of spirit. If you don't have the words in front of you, so yai lai lai always suffices, or you may know them well enough to sing along with me. Mi shebeirach avoteinu mekor habracha Limotenu, may the source of strength who blessed the ones before us help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing. Let us say Amen. Mi shebeirach imoteinu mekor habracha lavoteinu Bless those in need of healing with refuah shalema the renewal of body the renewal of spirit, and let us say Amen.
might have waited five more minutes because you came in time for the sermon. Uh, I don't know if that was the plan. <laughs> uh, so I've been thinking about advice and how much advice is part of our lives. We love to give advice. We don't always love to get advice, but we love to give advice. And it's crazy how natural it is, how human it is to give advice. If you're going to Grater's ice cream for the first time, people say, well, you've got to try the black raspberry chip. If you're going to Paris, they'll say, don't go to the Louvre. It's too crowded. Go to, where do we go? Musée d'Orsay. Or maybe the Hot Chocolate Cafe, something. You know, there's always advice of what to do. There's a billion-dollar industry uh, of influencers telling us what to drink, what to brush our teeth with, what bottles to buy, and so forth. Advice is key. And uh, advice is always at its biggest point when we're going through transition of new jobs, new life moments. And one of the things about tonight is thinking about people going off to college. We have one college-going person here in attendance, and I'm sure thousands online. Uh, and so uh, I hope these remarks are useful for everybody, but I pretty much had them in mind for our college-bound, but truly for any change. And this is a time where everybody really wants to give you advice. And I feel like it's my job to give two pieces from the Torah. One piece of advice that I really, really like, and one piece of advice I don't like. And I'm going to start with the one I don't like. Although for generations, rabbis have been wrestling and twisting themselves into knots, turning this into good advice. And so here's the one I don't love. One day Abraham is sitting on his own, and he hears a voice from God saying, Hey, Abraham, go take your son your favorite son, your firstborn, Isaac, and uh, take him up to the mountain as a burnt offering for me. And so he thought that was good advice. And the next morning, he uh, takes Isaac and his servants and his donkey, and they go off to the mountain to do this thing. Uh, they get to the mountain. Uh, Abraham says, guys, stay here with the donkey. Isaac and I are going to go up and do a burnt offering. They start climbing up. Isaac is totally pumped because it's some alone time with dad. But then he realizes, dad, where's the animal for the burnt offering? And Abraham says, don't worry, we're gonna, <laughs> that'll be provided. And then he ties up Isaac. Uh, that's why it's called the binding of Isaac, as some people call it. And uh, he's laying there. And just as Abraham takes the knife out of the sheath, the voices of the angels say, Ha, ha, just kidding. Well, they didn't say that exactly, but they said, you don't have to do this. Okay, it was a test. So the rabbis have tried for a long time to put that advice in context of why that's not a bad idea, and it's tricky. I'm just going to be honest with you. But the best that they come up with is that, you know, it just showed faith in God, and Abraham and God both knew it wouldn't have to happen. The reason I bring this up now, though, is because people give us advice all the time and it's okay to question it and not always listen. And that's easy to do in our current lives because you know the people giving you advice. So it's easy to discount it. Where it gets tricky, and this is where I was thinking of our college-bound students, is when you go to a new place with new people and new ideas. And sometimes you don't know if that's the person you can trust for their advice. So my advice for you on that thing is always trust your gut. Your gut is always right. If something feels wrong, it is wrong. That's just a lecture for Annabelle and maybe even Anna. The second piece of advice, though, I love. The second piece of advice was with the same two characters, God and Abraham. And again, Abraham's just chilling, and he hears this voice, Lech lecha, ma'artzacha, mimo detecha. Go, go for yourself. You know, this was, I think, Sammy's portion, if I'm not mistaken. I seem to remember it was her portion. Um, go, go for yourself. Go from your homeland. Go from your parents' home to the place that I will show you. And this is great advice. What God is telling Abraham is if you want to find out who you are, you have to leave your parents' house. You have to go away. You have to go be and find it on your own. And I think that's the greatest advice ever given. But there's a part of it that a lot of people skip. And I think it's probably the most important part of that because the translation is not go. The translation is go for yourself from your parents' house, from the place of your birth. So much of what kids do 
is for their teachers, for their parents, for societal expectations. And what Lech Lecha teaches is sometimes to get real change and to find out who you are, you have to do it for yourself, for nobody else. So to those few of you who are off to college, I wish you great success and go for yourself and see who you're going to be. Shabbat Shalom. And in the words of the late Debbie Friedman, one of her most enduring melodies, we'll offer together the words from Torah, Lechilach. Lechilach, to a place that I will show you. Lech Lecha, to a place you do not know. Lechilach, on your journey I will bless you. You shall be a blessing. You shall be a blessing. You shall be a blessing, Lechilach. Lechilach, and I shall make your name great. Lech Lecha, and all will praise your name. Lechilach, to a place that I will show you. Lesimchat Hayim, Lesimchat Hayim, Lesimchat Hayim, Lechilach. You shall be a blessing, you shall be a blessing, you are a blessing. Lechilach. That was great. That was one of the best passing outs I've seen today. Um, well, it is time for the Mourner's Kaddish. This is a time to reflect on those we've lost in recent years. Um, we think particularly tonight of Melvin, Mal, Jerome, Romanek, Joan, Andelman, Jane, Jerome, Zalman, Siegel, Rose, Glick, Max, Duneyev, Rhoda, Bialis, Enrique, Severbrenik, Nathan, Brenner, Muriel Lewis, Dora Grossman, Ethel Handler, Otis Needle, Manuel Smerling, Sidney Buchbinder, and we're in Shloshim for Caroline Schultz, George, and George Kantasari. Are there other names that you would like to add to the list? If you are able and inclined, please rise for the Mourner's Kaddish. Yikadal v'yikadash shemei rabba v'yalma devarach yirute v'yalmlich machute v'chayachon v'yemachon v'chaye dekol beit Yisrael v'agalal v'zman kari v'imru amen yehe shemei rabba mevarach le'olam u'mei amaya yitvara 